Hello. Welcome everybody. Ansoft is an antenna simulation software. On this occasion, we will simulate an inverted V antenna. This black screen is the workspace. It is the place where we will draw the antenna structure. But before drawing the antenna, we will define the operating frequency. So, we will go to the configure tab. In the frequency panel, we will set a single frequency of 7.2 MHz. This frequency corresponds to a wavelength of around 40 meters. We will set a free space simulation. Then, the permittivity and permeability of the space will be equal to 1. Besides, we will not add a ground plane. We will go back to the workspace, and we will right-click on the screen. A pop-up menu will be shown, where we will choose the line option. Instead of using the two points option for drawing a line, we will choose the start, direction, length option. Next, we will set the origin of coordinates as the starting point for the line. Now, we have to set the inclination for the line. By setting 90 degrees as the phi angle, the line will be on the YZ plane, towards the positive Y axis. Then, the inclination from the Z axis, theta, will be 112 degrees. The line length will be 10 meters. Now, we will go to the attributes page where we can set the number of segments in the cross-section of the wire. After clicking OK, the line will be shown in the workspace. If we want to see the main axes, we have to press the F7 key on the keyboard. We can see more clearly that the line is a 3D object. We can click on the YZ plane button in the toolbar to see the line in this plane. Now, we will draw the second branch of the inverted V antenna. It is easy because we only have to change the phi angle. We will set 270 degrees since it corresponds to the YZ plane, but towards the negative Y axis. We will also set the same number of segments as the first branch of the V. Here we have the two branches of the inverted V antenna. Now, we have to put a voltage source at the vertex. To do this, we have to open the antenna terminals, add a short wire between the terminals, and put a source on this short wire. We can zoom in the structure to see the vertex better. To open the vertex, we will modify the starting point of each branch. Now, we will draw a line connecting the starting points of the wires. We can copy the starting point of one wire and then paste its coordinates to draw the new wire. In this case, we will use the two points option to draw the line. This short wire will have one segment, since we only need to put a source there. To put a voltage source, we have to right-click on the short wire and choose the source slash load option. Then, we will click on the add source button below the trackbar to set the amplitude and phase of the voltage source.
the inverted V antenna model is now ready. From this moment on, we can run the calculations. Once the process is complete, we can plot the current distribution on a branch by right-clicking on a wire and choosing the Plot Currents option in the pop-up menu. We have obtained a quarter of a sine function since the total length of the V antenna is half a wavelength. And the same happens with the other branch. We can also plot the current distribution as a color map. Now, we will plot the radiation pattern. We have obtained a donut-shaped pattern because the V antenna in free space behaves as a half-wave dipole. If we need to see the input impedance, we have to right-click on the short wire where the source is placed, and choose the list currents option in the pop-up menu. Then, we have to click on the input list button that is below the track bar. The input impedance will be shown in a table as a function of frequency. Now, we will change the antenna scenario by moving the whole structure towards the positive z-axis. Next, we will add a ground plane below the antenna. We have to click on the selection box button in the toolbar, and enclose the antenna inside a rectangle. We will go to the edit menu and choose the move wires option and we will move the Z-coordinate in 15 meters. We can see that the antenna structure is now above the ground plane. To add a ground plane, we will go to the Configure tab and choose a perfect ground plane positioned at Z equals 0. Now, we are ready to run the calculation again. If we plot the radiation pattern, we can see the changes in the pattern due to the reflections on the ground plane. Thank you. I hope to see you in the next video.